Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy. If you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. Today we are going to do a little vintage bathroom makeover. Here's a quick view of this bathroom. I should preface it by saying this is a combination powder room slash guest room. Our guest room is on our first floor, so this doubles as a guest room and powder room. So I've never done anything with this bathroom. We have lived here almost five years, and I've really struggled with this cabinet here. It is something I would probably not have picked, but this beautiful countertop is like a greenish, has black, and it has a little bit of gold flecks. And this mirror, again, is probably something I would have not picked, but we are going to work with this, you all. We're going to do a few DIYs, and this is over here is the shower area. I just want you to see that there is a full shower, and it's like a build a gray shower, but we're going to work with it. So again, we're going to start off by doing a few little DIYs and turn this into a vintage, moody, modern bathroom, I guess you could say. Well, I want to first of all show you my inspiration. I bought these little canvases from Timu. I don't know if you guys know about Timu. I've bought a few things, but I tell you, I'm very, very impressed. And I think I got 10 of these 8x10s for like under $6. And this is not sponsored by Timu, but I just want to say, that I think you get a really nice quality. So it's a real nice canvas and then you just frame them. And those two floor ones are really my inspiration. That landscape, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, but we'll see. I picked this frame up from Goodwill for 99 cents and this other one for 2.99. I did have another one that I had on hand that I had bought a while ago for 7.99 from Home Goods, so I'm going to use that one. But it was sitting like in a drawer somewhere and I actually forgot I had it. So this is my inspiration for that vintage moody modern look. So I always recommend start with something as your inspiration and build from there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to reuse a lot of the things that I already have to sort of go with this. And I love this particular one. I love that little pot that's in it um, or the florals that's in that little pot. And then this one is a little bit more moody. And again, I love the florals. So this one is a landscape one. It goes really well with that um, the one little pot one that is a little bit not as moody, but I'm not quite sure. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to spray paint all the little hardware. So it's a little bit of a windy day, but I'm going to attempt to do the towel bars and I'm also going to do the toilet paper holder. And this is a great way to keep your expenses down is a can of spray paint goes a long way. And I already had this sort of blacky bronze color. And again, just unhook them, spray paint them, let them dry, and you don't have to go out and buy new. So again, always try to think outside the box. Again, paint is my best friend when it comes to doing like little, you know, room makeovers on a budget. This is a great way to, again, keep everything expense down and budget friendly. Now, the other thing I'm going to do too, remember that uh, mirror that was sort of has a little bit of a, I don't know what you want to call it, but design in it. And I'm going to paint that as well. So I did a little bit of experimenting with this particular mirror. I thought I would paint it black and I had some black paint. I had the spray paint on hand. So I had all this stuff. So I'm just repurposing them and making everything, you know, a little bit more my own and the color I want. So you'll see here in a minute that I go ahead and I paint the mirror a black color. Well, it's a couple hours later and everything is dry. And you all, I could not be happier. Look at that picture up to the side there, how this black, and it's just amazing how just paint, it's pulling it out from that picture. You'll see a little bit later, I added some rub and buff to not only the cabinet, but I added it to the mirror. And also I added it to the faucet. And oh my gosh, you all, that just made a huge difference. 
it just added that pop of gold on that faucet and looked so high end. I thought about adding some, actually I was gonna spray paint the rod, but it's really nice to mix metal, so I ended up just leaving it. Now you're gonna see, I had a little touch up there too. I ended up with three different shower curtains. Now also I should say, I did some of the little spots in, around the room I did beforehand, so you're gonna see some things sort of done and you're gonna see things that I'm showing you as I did them. So I did some recording ahead of time. But anyways, I just could not be happier. Everything is just flowing so nicely. Now, I had done this beforehand. I added that rub and buff to the cabinet and then changed out the knobs. They were like wicker and they're that glass, vintage, antique looking. And again, it made that cabinet real vintage looking. So now I'm going to show you the one shower curtain that I actually had that I ended up keeping. And the reason I am going to use this again is when you walk into this bathroom, you see smack in your face that shower. And when I was using the two other shower curtains, it wasn't adding some interest. It was just making it all blend like a solid color. So again, this smacks you in your face. So I needed to have something that was going to, you know, draw your eye to that the pattern, but also not make you feel like it smacks you in the face. So this just went really well. Now I added a little bit of texture to this side of the room by putting that little basket on top of the toilet there. And I also have a little basket that I use for my trash can. So it brought some texture over to that side of the room. Now these towels I had, and again, this is breaking up this wall because it's all tan and there's some black and then you're gonna see the picture that I end up putting there. But by just adding the white towel, again, it's breaking up that wall and it's carrying the colors all around the room. So no wall looks like it's just washed out. So I really, again, repurposed a lot of the stuff that I already had and just added those few new elements that made this room totally different. Now I'm adding a little um, riser here. It's a wood riser just to elevate that soap pump off of that countertop. And again, it's breaking up that countertop where you're adding some visual interest. And you could see the rose gold. I ended up buffing that down a little bit more, but I ended up doing that to that picture or excuse me, the mirror, and then it really turned out nice. Now, this one was the one that I bought for 99 cents, that frame, and again, it's got that gold. So gold, black, white, all around the room. And this is good beforehand. You could see a few things that I did before, but for the most part, oh my gosh, you all, this is like a bland new room, and I could not be more excited. Let me know what you think in the comments. Even give me a thumbs up. That really helps me. So here is the before, and let's look at the after. Problems, cause you never seem to focus on me now. Do you care about the problems? Can you get inside the corners of my mind? We can't.
let me know in the comments what you thought. I am so thrilled to you all of uh, the way this turned out. I have struggled, like I said, with this bathroom, and it's finally the way that is me and I love. I hope this video provided you some inspiration. You all, I spent about $40 for this whole makeover and you can do it this will give you some ideas of how paint and just you know juggling some things around makes such a difference and you could do this you can do it on a budget thanks again for spending a little time with me today love for you to give me a thumbs up it really helps me and even if you could put like a little emoji it helps push out my content to others see you in the next video bye now